Hi guys, I'm just going to show you the first few steps that are involved in making your op art tunnel. Now, as we've already discussed, op art is short for optical art. And what we're going to try and create here is an illusion, okay, an optical illusion using line and repetition as well as color. Okay, so the first thing you'll do is you're going to collect one of these templates. Now I've already drawn the lines on it for you to save you time because this part does take a little while and there's lots of um, measuring and rolling up, okay. All you need to do for this part is firstly write your name and grade on the back please and then you need to sketch lightly your curved lines along these wedges okay and what I think is best is if you start with one of the larger wedges okay and the ones on this side are the larger ones now what we're going to do is we're going to alternate which means change the direction of our curved lines and I'll show you what I mean by that so I want you to start in the center lightly drawing a curved line with the line curving in towards the center move down a little bit and do the same thing so we're going to continue to repeat these curved lines curving into the center and you can see that my curves are becoming broader okay so the closer they come to the center the tighter they're going to be all right the reason I want you to start and this little bit here is a little bit tricky just pretend that that line is continuing off the page and imagine that it's coming down here okay and it'll go off the edge of the page there now um what I want you to be mindful of is and this is why I've got you to start in these big sections is not putting too many lines in okay the more curved lines you put in these wedges the more work you're going to create for yourself okay so try and keep no more than probably what have I got here one two three four five six I would say no more than eight okay if you want yours to be a little bit tighter that's fine but please don't make too many okay so these lines were curving into the center so we want to alternate which means change now and I want the next set of lines to curve away from the center okay and instead of putting them in exactly the same spot as the last ones we're going to start a little bit off center okay as in sorry not off center but we're going to leave just a little a little gap here can you see that all right now I'm going to keep curving away from the center this time okay and the same as we did last time we're just going to imagine that line is going that way and we're going to do the line that way okay so we're going to alternate again now and go towards the center remembering that we don't want those lines to meet up too much okay so can you see how I'm alternating so it's almost like a wave all right so I went towards the center and you know what keep talking to yourself in your head saying all right that one was towards this one will be away away and my advice to you while you're doing this is to keep it light until you get it right okay if you make a mistake and you draw too hard it's going to be really hard to correct your mistake with an eraser so please keep it light until you get it right all right so I'm going to alternate again this was away I'm going to go towards oops I'm just keeping that nice and soft nice and light and I'm trying to make sure the highest part of my arched line is in the center of my wedge. Okay, it can be a little tricky. So that was going towards, this will go away. All right, now what I want you to imagine is that I have finished all of these lines. Now for the sake of this tutorial not going for too long, I want to show you the next step now. Okay, so all of this is filled in. I've got all my lines alternating and I've got a nice wavy pattern happening around my uh, spiral here. 
To colour in, you can choose coloured pencils or you can use the zooms if you like, okay? Coloured pencils will be great in that you are able to layer them and create some tone with your layering. If you choose to use um, zooms, you're going to need to alternate your pressure, okay, to create some tone. Remembering that tone is that light to dark, that shading, okay, and to create our optical illusion, we need to use tone and colour. So what I've done is I've selected some contrasting colours, which means they're quite different, okay? So I've got blue and orange, and I have green and purple, all right? I'm going to start with my purple. Now, just choose any wedge to start with, okay? I might um, start here, and I'm going to lightly, lightly colour in one of my little sections. I'm going to skip a section, colour in the next section. My advice to you is to just choose one colour and colour all the sections that need to be that colour first, okay? And then change your colour, colour all the sections that need to be that colour, so on and so forth. So I'm doing this really lightly to start with, guys, and this is how I'm going to create my tone, all right? You'll notice that I'm using my finger here. This is something that I actually learnt to do when I was in primary school, um, just on my own. When you're um, colouring, I like to create a little edge for myself by using my finger, so I'm letting my crayon bump into my finger there, okay? It's a bit more difficult up this side. All right, so I've coloured in all my purple sections. Now, to create your tone, you might want to practice this on the back, okay? So maybe practice going light, medium, dark, just to get a feel, all right? And then you go over the top again, pressing lightly to smooth them all together. So light, press a little bit harder, medium, press much harder, dark, okay? And then I, you can see I'm going back up the back over the top to blend them together, all right? This is what we're going to do in our sections. However, we're going to be doing them on either side because we want this to appear as though it's three-dimensional. So I want it to look like it's darker on the outside and lighter on the middle. So I'll, oops, I'll start in this section here with some dark and some medium, leaving some light in the middle, okay? So maybe just press firmly along the edges first so that you create a little bit of an outline, okay, and then, all right, so I'm pressing kind of hard, I'm going to move to medium, and I'm going to make sure I keep it light in the centre there, all right, and you might need to just fix up these edges a little bit, okay, so dark, into medium and I'm going to leave the center nice and light okay now you might want to see how I'm changing directions now and I'm actually coloring on a diagonal angle following the shape of my curve okay that's another hint there so my dark edges, pressing quite firmly. Now, the larger the section, the more gradual your tone will become, okay? So in here, there was only a really small section of dark and then a small section of medium and a small section of light. In here, it got a little bit bigger. So out here, it's going to be much bigger. So we're going to have more dark, which you can see, and more medium. Okay, just checking I'm on screen, more dark than before, and some medium, bringing it around through to light. Okay, and I'm going to do that sideways diagonal blending technique that I was using before, just to bring it all together and finish it off. So you can see now 
See how it looks a little bit three-dimensional because I've got dark along the outside and light on the inside. Now I'm going to use, what did I say I was going to do? Green and purple, okay? So I just do the same with my green now on these sections in between here. So I colour it in lightly first, all the way over. Green. With your darker colours, like your purple and dark blue, um, just you do need to be a little bit cautious with them because if you make a mistake, it is, it's is—it's much more um, obvious, obviously. So I've got my green. So press firmly along those two edges. All right, now firm, but I'm moving straight into medium and I'm using the dark and um, medium tone here as a guide as well as to how much dark and how much medium... I'm going to need dark along the edges, all right, but a little bit more dark and a little bit more medium. If you find you don't do enough dark or enough medium, you can always come over and add it, okay? So don't panic, but what you're not going to be able to do is undo too much dark or too much medium, okay? And we can only see one whoops, one side of um, this arch. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, so you can see now how I'm starting to create this illusion that my little wedge here is curving upwards. Now, these other ones are going to be I'm um, doing the same thing, but we're going to use a different color. This, if for this next one, we'll use the um, blue and orange. Now, I want my blue to go in here next to my green because I feel like if I put my blue next to my purple, it might be too obvious. So you can see I've just lightly, um, too similar, I meant to say. I'm just lightly sketching out where I want those colours to go so that I don't make a mistake, all right? So I might start with my blue using exactly the same method, lightly colouring in the whole section. And when I mean lightly, I mean really lightly. And remember, you can practice on the back, okay? And then I'll come through with my dark and my medium sections. Remembering that little tip I gave you before of using your finger to make your crayon bump into, so you stick it in the same spot. All right. Now, okay, I'll, I'll stop there and just remind you. Remember, when we're sketching, we are alternating our lines inwards and outwards from the centre. Don't do too many, okay? And remember that they should get broader as you go down your wedge because they are becoming larger, okay? If you get up to colouring today, just double check with me that your colours are contrasting, okay? I don't want you to go ahead and start colouring and then figure out you may have um, chosen the wrong colours. Um, but what I would expect you to get finished in lesson one is your sketching, okay? Absolutely your sketching. And by lesson two, you should certainly be up to the colouring. The colouring takes a little while, okay? All right, guys, good luck.